Hello guys, uh, it's Coach once again and uh, welcome to our part 2 on methods to, of reducing levels after doing a leveling exercise. So the second method that I'm going to teach you is the height of polymation method. So in the height of polymation method, uh, our table is a bit different, uh, not that much but it has some smaller adjustments. Again we have our back side, our intermediate side, our full side. And now we have a column which we call height of polymation, which is the uh, where this table, this method gets its name, height of polymation uh, method again. Like our last uh, method, we have the reduced level and the remark. Again, so from there, what we do first when you are doing the height of polymation method is that uh, we say the reduced level, the first reduced level, plus uh, back side, we get the height, we get the height of collimation for that, uh, for that position, which is in this case, which is our benchmark, which is A. Then from there, let, let us already do that. We are saying the reduced level plus the back side, we get the height of collimation. So this plus this, we should be getting, uh, we're saying 14.44,01 plus 1,51. 1, 1, we should be getting 1478,52, which is our height of collimation. Now, from there, after getting a height of collimation, the second formula that you should know is that uh, to get a reduced level, the following reduced level, you say height of collimation minus whether it's an intermediate side or a full side or a full side. You just subtract that and you get the reduced level equals to the reduced level for that point. So let's do that. So we are now saying height of collimation minus the intermediate side then we get the reduced level for that point. So we get one four, we are saying one four seven eight comma five two minus one comma three zero. We get one four seven seven comma two two, which is our reduced level for point B. Again, we come back to the height of collimation minus the second one, uh, minus the a intermediate side for C, uh, the reading for C, we are saying always is height of collimation minus what you are having. So in this case, we are saying height of collimation minus the uh, intermediate side for uh, C, we get one, one, four, seven, seven, comma, six, three, we do the same for D, we get one four, uh, one four, let me see, one four, seven, seven, comma, three, four. Again, it's a four side, we do the same. So for the four side, we get one, four, seven, seven, comma, nine, two. Now, from there, remember, now it's our change point again. I think we have discussed what the change point is from our last discussion. So when you get where, uh, to where the foresight ends and you start uh, using it as the back side again, you now take the reduced level, then you add the back side. Always it's the reduced level plus the back side, you get the height of collimation. So we, have, we are finished with the first run. We are now going for the second run. So we are saying the reduced level at E plus the back side at E, we get the height of collimation. So now for our height of collimation, we are saying this plus this, we get one, one, four, seven, nine, comma, three, four. Again, now we are saying the height of collimation minus height of collimation minus intermediate side or the full side so now we are saying height of collimation minus we have the intermediate side 
So we are saying height of collimation minus the intermediate. Height of collimation minus the intermediate, we get uh, 1, 4, 7, 7, 7, 4. Now we are saying height of collimation again minus the uh, four side you are getting one four sorry one four seven six comma nine eight again this is a change point again this is a change point again so we are now saying again reduce level plus big side so that we can get the height of collimation for this one uh, that's our G so this plus this we should be getting one one four seven nine comma zero zero now remember this I have already pre-calculated this so you can calculate again so that you can check as you watch the video so that you can check whether maybe I have done some errors so make sure to comment with the errors that I have done so that we can improve the videos and like and subscribe don't forget to do that guys now we are saying the height of collimation minus the intermediate again we get one one four seven seven comma seven nine now you just do the same for what we were doing so to make it faster i'm going just to write the numbers down so you check uh, with your when you do the calculation so that you have the right uh, procedure again from there we get one four seven seven comma two three and from this minus this we should be getting one four seven six comma seven two uh, that will be our last reduced level so sometimes you might get that you have the reduced level maybe it's in between you just interchange these formulas mathematically if you don't have the height of collimation but you have the intermediate side or the four sides with the reduced level you just rearrange the formula if you need to get the height of collimation equals to the intermediate side when it cross over the equal sign now we have the reduced level plus the maybe the intermediate side or the four side so you have to know mathematically how to run these formulas if you have the height of collimation in the back side you can be able to get the reduced level if you have the intermediate size or four sides and the reduced level should be get, able to get the height of collimation and vice versa so from there you calculate these that's what you get now for the checks in the height of collimation method again you sum the back side we have already used the uh, the same the same table that we had used for the previous video so that you see how they work inter uh, together and the answers that they give you so this we say the summation of the back side then summation of the four sides sorry summation of the four sides that's how you calculate it then from the back side we say to sum this plus this plus this you should be getting uh, four comma nine five is our total. Then again, for the four sides, you get again you will leave the intermediate side. We don't need it for our checks. You get five comma two four. After doing this, now we go to the checks. The first check that we have is uh, summation of back side minus summation of four sides we should be getting the same answer as the last reduced level minus the first first uh, reduced level is that correct so we are saying uh, let me do this we are saying for the for the first one let me change my matter the uh, big side we have four uh, summation of big sides minus uh five comma two four which is our uh four sides you get a negative zero comma two nine now we are saying last reduced level our last reduced level again uh one four seven six comma seven two minus our first 
reduce level, which is this one. This is our last reduce level. This is our first reduce level. So we are saying minus 1, 4, 7, 7, 0, 1. We get a negative 0, 2, 9. These are the two checks that we have for the height of collimation method. method. Now, if you check uh, from our previous video, we had uh, three checks, four checks, now we want to check four checks for the rise and fall method, rise and fall, rise and fall method, we have three checks. That's the advantage of the rise and fall over the height of collimation method because in the height of collimation method, we have only two checks, which makes the uh, rise and fall method more accurate compared to the uh, height of collimation uh, method. The advantage of the height of collimation method uh, towards the rise and fall method it is, uh, is that the height of collimation method is a bit easier and faster to do compared to the rise and fall. Uh, that's the two main uh, differences between the rise and fall and the uh, height of collimation method. I uh, hope you enjoyed the, uh, the uh, video, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, and recommend. And make sure to leave the, uh, some comments below so that we can improve and make other videos better. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, God bless.